Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a really fun monogram purple keychain. Uh, all you need for this is your basic acrylic blank. I used a two inch acrylic blank, some UV resin, some glitter. This glitter is from Martha Stewart. I think I got it 20 years ago and some uh, vinyl, but I pre-cut out using my Cricut. When I cut out this one, I usually do it about 0.1 or 0.05 smaller than the blank, and I didn't do that for whatever reason this time. So I'll show you how to work with that and how to trim down your uh, trim down your vinyl. This vinyl is from Techcraft Wrap. It's a new vinyl to me. I actually really, really liked it. It almost has a matte finish to it, but it weeds really beautifully. It cuts really well. I had no issues with it at all. And for once, it actually stuck to the Oracal transfer, uh, transfer paper. This has been an ongoing struggle. I bought two rolls of this Oracal transfer paper, and I cannot get anything to stick to it. It has been a real issue in my life. But this stuff, this stuff stuck to it just fine. I had no issues. I was really, really surprised. So acrylic blanks always come with a covering on it. We're just going to remove that covering and it's going to rip. And this happens every once in a while. Just be patient. <laughs> These two inch ones, I don't know. I don't know if they just got a bad batch with bad coverings on them, but they have been more difficult than they should have been to take the covering off. There we go. And like I mentioned before, I did overcut this piece. So we're just going to add it like normal. We're just going to take the transfer paper, give it a really good burnishing. Like I said, I was having so many problems with this Oracle transfer paper. It, it's just not strong enough um, for the Cricut vinyl. It just, they will not stick to each other. But this stuff worked beautifully. I never cut a hole in my vinyl. I find I can never get it in the right spot. I always cut it after the fact. So just make sure you have a really good X-Acto knife or yeah, X-Acto knife on hand. Again, I'm just gonna line up this purple vinyl. But now when you're putting anything on the back, um, in this case, this damask pattern, it didn't really matter. But when you're putting something on the back of your design, uh, make sure that you uh, mirror it because it's gonna be seen through the front and this particular one is going to be the other side. I like to put um, vinyl on both sides. It kind of gives like a shadowed effect and looks quite nice. So as you can see there, I did, the uh, vinyl was a little bit too large. So I'm just gonna trim it with a really sharp, the, my really sharp X-Acto knife. It trims really, really easily. I try to um, cut it on like a 45 degree angle. I'm not sure why I did this this time, but it happens and I didn't want to recut it. Just take your time. I do try to keep my hands in the camera. It's actually really difficult if you, uh, if you think about it. I have to hold them quite far away from my body underneath the camera, so I do. I'm working on that. It is a, a further distance and uh, I did have LASIK and all right, let's just finish up giving this a trim all the way around. Be patient. All right, all trimmed up except for that one little spot. There we go. Let's just get this perfect. You want it to be really, you know, quite close so that it, the UV resin can encapsulate over. So I always, ne I, I said I never cut through, I never use my Cricut to cut the hole in my vinyl. The X-Acto knife does just a fine job every time. This is from a glitter set I bought for my wedding uh, 15 years ago. 
I always get made fun of in my household for being a bit of a hoarder, but I always seem to use it at some point in my life. So I'm just mixing the glitter with a little bit of UV resin. Of course, I didn't mix up enough. I do this all the time. But using my spatula, just try to dome over your vinyl. Watch UV resin, it does shrink, so don't try to go too skimpy with it. You want to make sure that you get a nice domed look because uh, it will pull away from the edges when you cook it. Whenever I'm done, um, especially when there's not glitter in it, when you're trying to get a nice clear coat, I often put my light over top, not turned on, not plugged in, and that it lets me see whether I got um, resin everywhere equally. It will show you any shadows or divots in the resin and whether um, it's ready to be cured or whether it should sit a few more minutes to level out. It will self-level to a certain degree. And everything looks good, so we're going to cook it. And it really varies. I get a lot of questions about how long I cook it for. It can be up to five minutes and sometimes even, especially when I use glitter, I have to put it in the window sometimes. Um, I, was, I apologize for my hands. I was working on a project for my daughter. I was drawing lines on a piece of paper with a Sharpie and a ruler, and it got all over my hands. So what I was, uh, again, don't be afraid to put it in a window for a few minutes. The glitter can prevent the UV from penetrating the, the resin. So be patient. Sometimes I just walk around and I just keep hitting the button. And uh, when I'm finally happy with it, I'd say... Sometimes, yeah, three minutes, it's supposed to be done, five minutes, sometimes even a little bit longer. It could depend on the weather. It's, I live in a very damp climate. Even regular resin seems to take double where it takes other places. So it's a little bit of trial and error depending on where you're living, I think. So taking off the other side, you can see my little silver poking through. I love that look. I think it's really cute and my hands with the lines on them. I couldn't get it off, nothing would take it off. So really simple design, I got it from Design Bundles. I bought a whole bunch of these. Oh wait, no, I got this one from Etsy. I bought a, a package of uh, keychain backgrounds, just with different designs. I'll try to find it and link it below. Um, I got this font. It's called Breakfast Pastry. I got it from Design Bundles. Very easy going for a purple theme. But you can see the shadow you get if you put the vinyl behind it and then a different vinyl on top. Behind the, the vinyl behind the, uh, the acrylic and then the other vinyl on top. You can see the shadow that you get. Another font that I got from Design Bundles, I can't remember this one offhand, but I'll try to link it down below. I really liked it, I thought it was cute. And now comes the quick part, just adding that clear domed layer of UV resin. I got this resin, it's called Let's Resin. I do like it better than some of the other ones I was using. I find it doesn't leave a, it doesn't leave a sticky layer as often, it cures better. It cures faster, especially in my climate. Again, I think everybody has a different climate. Um, the resin will cure differently in different climates, I should say.
Sometimes to get rid of big bubbles, I get a heat gun out. Um, but little bubbles, I find nothing really works better than a torch. Gets all those little tiny bubbles out for that nice clear finish. This is the light. I have unplugged it and I really want to make sure that I have a good dome and there's no extra resin needed. So a few minutes have gone past and there's the finished product. I really like this one. I think it's really cute. That's about all for this one. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, like, like and subscribe to support the channel. I do have some more videos coming. I've got a lot of stuff in the works. I've got uh, a lot of projects half finished that I really should finish during the summer. And uh, a lot of videos on the way. Thanks so much. See you next time.